Rhododendron. Are they the same thing as azaleas? And are they safe as medicine? So let's dive into this. Because both are toxic and all parts of the plant are toxic. So you really want to know your variety. Some are safer than others and many are only used externally. So the Western varieties, which are, for example, your rhododendron alpin, use it externally. But in traditional Chinese medicine, in which the character for rhododendron and azalea is exactly the same, with azaleas actually being a subspecies of rhododendron, uh, there are rhododendron darium and rhododendron arboreum, and these two varieties are used medicinally. There are some others as well, but those are the most common that you're going to see. And just to give you some sense of the differences between these two for identification purposes, rhododendrons are typically evergreens. Azaleas are deciduous. Rhododendrons are going to have 10 or more stamens. Your azaleas are going to have only five. Rhododendrons have these big, beautiful, large, sort of paddle-like leaves and bell-shaped flowers. Azaleas have small elliptical leaves, um, and their flowers are more like trumpets or tubular-shaped. Rhododendrons can grow to be 80 feet tall. They're trees, right? They're 80 feet tall. And azaleas are only going to grow up to be 8 feet tall. So you can feel a difference there between these, the, you know, these species here. Uh, and they both have beautiful fragrant flowers and they can come in a wide variety of colors pink gold white purple orange even red right just gorgeous beautiful in gardens in traditional chinese medicine uh, the uh, character for rhododendron and azalea is exactly the same this is how how closely they see them and as i mentioned the two varieties that are typically used medicinally are are for rhododendron uh, uh, darium or are arboreum. Arboreum is native, well, they're both native to Tibet. Darium is named after the Mongolian people, for the Darum people. And they even will use them as foods. The Tibetans have used the young leaves as greens. So you can see toxicity is, is relative. You really need to know the botanical plants, some they would never eat <laughs> to make it too sick. But in proper dosing and the right varieties that we're talking about here, you have a plant that is used medicinally and is very powerful being studied for its heart benefits, um, treating coughs, asthma, arthritis, um, can be used um, externally, both even the Western variety, Rhododendron alpin, for example, to treat as a poultice or a paste for treating arthritis, itching, maggots, yuck, <laughs> traumatic injuries. Um, the flowers are analgesic and sedating. Um, of, the, of the, the traditional Chinese medicine variety, the R, um, Daritium, and the Arboreum varieties. So there you have it, this plant with a wealth of, of hidden abilities for some of you. Some of you may just be familiar with rhododendrons and azaleas as ornamental flowers. You might want to consider taking our herb course to find out more about this plant, how to be using it as a medicine, um, and how to be taking better advantage of its healing potentials.